Jenny C and welcome to my channel. If you looked for this video then I'm sure you know what figs are but if you don't know what figs are, figs are a very fancy brand of scrubs. Now why do I need scrubs you may ask? Well let me tell you. I am currently a nutrition student and dietetic intern so basically I'm studying to be a registered dietitian. I have to intern in a hospital because a lot of dietitians work in a hospital so to get experience I have to go to the hospital and we get to wear scrubs. So I've never had scrubs. I spoke to my sister who has been in the medical community for a long time now and I asked her what good scrubs are and she said Figs. Let's open the box up for the first time and see what we got. The figs. Okay. Ooh. Okay. The figs website has several different options for scrub pants and scrub tops. So I bought one of almost every kind of style so that I could try them and see which one's the best and then I can return the ones I don't like. I only bought navy blue scrubs. Does it come with a re itemized receipt so I can tell you what I got? No, but whoa, how many things did I it actually came pretty fast. It came in like five days. First of all, I just want to say the thing I hate the most about online shopping and that I think needs to be changed immediately. For the longest time, there's been one look and now we've been having some changes and they've been including plus size people and I'm like, that is amazing. But can they have a model that's in between two? Because there's so many people in between those two and we don't know what to get. So for that reason, I purchased different sizes of these things. So first thing I got was was the Katarina top in a small. Then I got a Katarina, same shirt, in a medium because I didn't know which one would work. I don't know what size I am. And then there's the other top that I forget the name of now, but the Katarina has one pocket on the left at the top here. And then the other one has two pockets at the bottom. Didn't look as flattering as this one, I think. And also my sister said that this one was her favorite. But I do know that a lot of people say that the pockets, like the two pockets at the bottom are super helpful for if you're like a nurse and you have a lot of things you need pockets for, then that top might be for you. But because I'm not a nurse, I don't need a lot of pockets. And so I only got this shirt. So we're gonna be reviewing this top in two different sizes. On that note, speaking of different sizes, I think this will be helpful information for you. I am 5'6", five, 5'6", five six inches, and I don't know how much I weigh. I don't know if I've ever talked about this in a video before, but I haven't weighed myself in years, which I highly recommend. But I'll talk about that in another video at another time. So I don't know how much I weigh, so I can't tell you that, but what I can tell you is I'm probably around size eight in a dress. Anywhere from like six is kind of maybe too tight sometimes. And then sometimes a 10, maybe even a 12, depending on the store. So if that helps you, you kind of know what size that is. That's around like a medium usually. Moving on. <laughs> I picked three different bottoms to try. And in one of them, I got two different sizes. First up here, the Yola skinny in a size medium. The Yola pants were the pants that my sister said she liked the best. So I was like, absolutely gotta get these to try them. I got this one in the medium and in the large. Then I also got a medium in the Cade cargo pants. And finally, I got a medium in the Zamora jogger pants. I didn't love this one, especially because my sister told me that she really didn't like this one at all. But I saw so many reviews of people saying this one was amazing, and I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot. So that's it, that's all of the things that we got here. Yes, this was expensive. Let's break it down the price now. Here we go. The Katarina top was $38. $48 for the Zamora joggers. The other pants too, the Cade and the Yola skinny pants, both of these also were $48. Oh, ooh, I like this color. Oh, this is the small. Okay, the small looks pretty big. It feels like it's thick. But also this is like very lightweight. That's amazing. I'm gonna try this on with the first outfit. So let's pick some random pants for the first outfit. Let's go with these. The Cade cargo pants. Here we go. So here is the top, Katarina top. As you can see here, there's one pocket, the little figs logo. It's a nice size pocket. This is the small. Um, I did not expect it to be this spacious on me. So that's why I got the medium. I will still try on the medium to show you what that would look like. But yeah, this is the small and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stick with the small because it's definitely very spacious here. There's a little like cut here so that it doesn't have to like 
bunch up at the bottom. I don't think I would wear the medium, but let's try it on anyway. All right, so here is the medium. Not a huge difference, but it's definitely bigger. Does it look bad? Actually, no, but it does look like I'm wearing something that's a size too big for me. One thing I will say, barely any stretch at all. Like this does not stretch. Here's the fabric, right? It barely stretches. Fig's cross logo here on the sleeve. Just that sleeve. The back also has like two lines running down it. So it's not like a super duper like feminine shape, but like just slightly so that it gives you a little bit more curve than just like straight up and down. So that's nice, I like that. Anyway, let's go back to the small and then we'll try on the pants. All right, now we are on to the pants. These are the Cade cargo pants in a medium, size medium. And these were $48 again. Let's start from the top here. So it has like this waistband here, which is very nice, super comfortable. This is like thick waistband. It goes up pretty high. Two pockets here in the front. Here on the right leg, we have two pockets, a pocket and a pocket. So big pocket, a uh, smaller pocket. And then the other side does not have a pocket here. I thought it did, but it doesn't. And no pockets in the back. Back of the pants, side of the pants, front of the pants. <laughs> they have this little slit here on the pants, so that's nice for like shoes. Very nice, very spacious. So now let's try on the next pair of pants. All right, so now we have the Yola skinny pants in the size medium. And again, we'll start from the top here. The waistband is not as thick as the Cade one, which I don't love because it just feels very flimsy, but it does have a little bit of a waist thing here where you can tighten the drawstring. The nice thing though, is that it has this ruch or whatever you call this, I'm not sure. This kind of backing, so it makes for like a nice fit into the lower back. Um, so that's nice, I do like that. So in terms of pockets, we've got one little pocket here. I don't know why. They have this little design here, ring, money sign, and a little key. I'm guessing they put this little thing here just to tell you that that's what you do with this pocket, I guess. And they also have a little quote in here. These pants say, everything with passion. Okay, so now for pockets, right and left pocket here. We also got a smaller pocket in this pocket. We have back pockets, which the other Cade pants did not have. And we also have two different kind of pockets on both sides. On the right side, you've got a pocket with a zipper, which is super cool, especially just to keep your phone from falling out if you like squat up and down a lot. Then on this side, we have, again, that same large pocket. And this large pocket has like a little, I don't know if you can see that, thin little pocket here, which I guess is for like pens? I don't know what this is for. I'm guessing pens, but that's kind of a long pen. I don't know. If you know, please let me know in the comments below what this is for. And then we've got the pocket in the pocket, the little Figs cross here. You can just easily tighten that. I like these, these are nice. They look a lot more stylish because the Cade pants looked a little bit like pajamas on me. These look a little bit more fitted. I'm gonna try on the large just so we can look. Definitely, definitely the sizes, there's a difference in size. I could tighten it and I don't think it would still be enough. So this is the difference between the large and the medium. Now let's try on the joggers. Here are the coveted, everybody loves the joggers. This is the medium and they're pretty big. I was not expecting this at all. Are these, the, is this a medium? For real? Where's the, where's the tag? It's a medium. I don't know if my sizes have changed. I don't know. These look pretty big on me. This is the medium. They're very spacious, which I don't think joggers are meant to be this spacious. Here's the top part. Again, this one has the same one that like the Cade pants had that I really liked. That is like thick. It's like a very thick layer. Again, you can tighten it with the drawstring. So now in terms of pockets, we've got two just regular pockets on the left and the right. We have the little logo here. Then in terms of pockets on the pants, Oh, okay. We have no pockets on the left and we've got one pocket on the right. So on the right, we have just a zipper pocket. It's not as deep or as big as the Yola pants were. So that's something to consider also. No little pockets that I see, but we do have back pockets. So that's nice. If I had to choose between the Cade pants and the Zamora joggers, I don't know now. I feel like the joggers are more like fashionable nowadays, but the Cade pants are more like relaxed 
fit. They look a little bit more pajama-y than the joggers do. So if I had to pick, I'm gonna have to watch the video back to decide what looks best. <laughs> the Cade pants or the Zamora joggers. Let me know in the comments below which outfit you like best, which pants you like best, because you're gonna help me a whole lot making this decision. <laughs> also, if you're gonna be buying some figs, let me know which ones you love that you have or which ones you're going to buy. I would love to know that also so that I have a little bit better idea. So anyway, that's it for the review, guys. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also hit subscribe if you haven't already. I put out a new video every other Saturday, so I'll see you guys again next, next Saturday. Bye!